Um, hi everybody, I'm Lauren and I'm from St Mary's Church in Frinton and this is Eva. Um, we are going to read you a story today um, from the Bible but the book is this and it's called Moses and the Bulrushes and it is written by Miles Kelly. Long ago in Egypt there lived a group of people called the Israelites. They lived peacefully among the Egyptian people where some became rich. After many years, there were a lot of Israelite people living in Egypt. The king of Egypt, or Pharaoh, wasn't happy that there were so many Israelites in his country. He thought that one day they would try to take over Egypt. Pharaoh forced the Israelites to become slaves. They had to work for the Egyptian people to build new towns and were treated harshly. But the number of Israelite people continued to grow. Pharaoh needed another plan to stop the Israelites becoming so powerful. Pharaoh ordered that all Israelite baby boys were to be killed, but that the girls were allowed to live. Egyptian soldiers were sent to carry out the awful task. They marched into Israelite towns. One Israelite family had a tiny baby boy, but they managed to hide him from Pharaoh's soldiers. For three months, they were able to keep the baby boy a secret. But as he began to grow bigger and noisier, this became more difficult. One day, the baby's mother came up with a plan. She made a strong basket and coated it with tar to make it waterproof. The baby's sister, Miriam, watched closely. Then they wrapped the baby in a blanket to keep him warm and put him in the basket. Then Miriam and her mother crept down the river and placed the basket with the sleeping baby among the tall bulrushes. This little basket bobbed gently on the water. Miriam's mother returned home to stop people becoming suspicious. Miriam hid in the bulrushes and kept watch over her baby brother. After a while, Miriam saw some people approaching. It was Pharaoh's daughter and her servants. The princess had come to the river to bathe. Suddenly, the princess noticed the little basket floating gently on the water. Quickly, fetch that basket, she ordered one of her servants. The servant pulled the basket from the water and gasped when she saw the little baby inside. He began to cry. Give the child to me, said the princess, and she held him in her arms. Suddenly, Miriam appeared before the princess. Perhaps I could find someone to help look after the baby? Yes, said the princess. Find me a nurse. Miriam hurried to bring her mother to the princess. I will pay you to look after this child. He will be brought up as my son and no harm will come to him. Miriam and her mother were overjoyed. The princess named the baby Moses, which means drawn out, just as he was drawn out of the water. So as a small child, Moses stayed with his family, living safely and happily under the protection of the princess. Then one day when he was old enough, his mother and sister took him to the Pharaoh's palace to be with the princess. Thank you for looking after him, said the princess. So Moses was brought up as an Egyptian prince. Little did he know that one day he would help to set the Israelite people free under God's guidance. The end. We hope you enjoyed that story that we read for you today. And we thought that you could do a craft like we have. Sam, um, who many of you know, decided he was going to make a picture made out of tissue paper. Now, if you don't have tissue paper at home, maybe you've got coloured paper. Um, maybe you don't have that and you can just use coloured pens or pencils or crayons or something. But we would encourage you to try and draw your own picture um, of Moses 
floating down the river in his basket and with all the bulrushes around him. Thank you for listening. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you again next week. Bye!